A reading from the book of Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and his name is Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Hear the early encounters with God. The psalm is Psalm 96. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the whole earth. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is more to be feared than all gods. As for all the gods of the nations, they are but idols, but it is the Lord who made the heavens. Oh, the majesty and magnificence of his presence. Oh, the power and the splendor of his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, you families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord honor and power. Ascribe to the Lord the honor due his name. Bring offerings and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Tell it out among the nations that the Lord is king. He has made the world so firm that it cannot be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea thunder and all that it is in it. Let the field be joyful and all that is therein. Then shall all the trees of the wood shout for joy before the Lord when he comes, when he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his truth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit is now and will be forever. Amen. The second reading is a reading from letter of Paul to Titus. The grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all, training us to renounce impiety and worldly passions, and in the present age to live lives that are self-controlled, upright, and godly, while we wait for the blessed hope and the manifestation of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. He it is who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all inequity and purify for himself a people of his own who are zealous for good deeds. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. 